the Maris longus muscle. The Maris longus muscle arises from the medial epicondyle of the humerus, insertion, transverse carpal ligament, and palmar aponeurosis. Action flexes the hand at the rest. Nerve supply the median nerve. This muscle partially covers the median nerve and inserts into the palmar fascia and varies in size from a thin slip of tendon to a very wide flat tendon. Occasionally, the muscle belly extends into the rest and it compresses the median nerve. It is absent in about 15 to 25 percent of population. This number varies greatly in different groups of population. If the muscle is absent, it does not mean the grip strength is less. How do you know that the muscle is absent? The tendon, if present, will be visible in the midline of the anterior rest. The palmaris longus muscle can be palpated by touching the pads of the fifth finger and the thumb while flexing the wrist. If the tendon is present, you will see the tendon in the midline of the anterior wrist. Muscle testing may cause the flexor superficialis to bulge into the subcutaneous area of the wrist and simulate the palmaris longus. The tendon of this muscle is the most commonly used tendon graft for the hand. You will try to palpate the tendon before surgery and you will determine the thickness of that tendon. If there is any indication that the tendon is small, you must advise the patient and consent to the patient for possible graft from another area of the body. The relationship between the median nerve, the palmaris longus, and the flexor carbi radialis the palmaris longus is used as a guide for injection of the carpal tunnel or block of the median nerve at the rest. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.